Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn one of the pillars of object-oriented programming that is inheritance. Inheritance is a fundamental concept of object-oriented programming that allows us to create new classes that reuse, extend and modify the behavior defined in other classes. Let's understand this with an example. Let's assume we are going to build a system to manage a bookstore. Now I will add a book class to this project. Now I will add the properties. Title, author and price are the properties. Now I will create a class, fiction book. If I have to describe this fiction book class without inheritance, then I will add these properties. Title, author, price and genre. Look at this book class. This has properties title, author and price which is common in fiction book class as well. In this case, we can make this book class as a base class and we can inherit the members of this class. To inherit from a class, we use the colon symbol. I will remove these three properties title, author and price. I will keep genre as it is. Now we can inherit from book class use colon symbol then book in this case book class serves as a base class and fiction book class serves as a derived class in object oriented programming a base class and a derived class are terms used to describe the relationship between two classes base class is also known as a parent class or super class this class contains common attributes and behaviors that are shared by one or more derived classes Derived class is also known as a child class or subclass. This class inherits attributes and behaviors from the base class and can extend or override them. And it may have additional attributes or behaviors that are specific to the derived class. As this fiction book class is inheriting from book class, these properties title, author and price are available to fiction book class as well. Let's verify that. Let's try to create instance of fiction book class. I have created instance of fiction book. Now I can access the author, genre, price, title, all the properties from book class as well. Now I will add a public method to this class. We can access this method from fiction book class. Now we can call this display info method to print the data fb.c it is available now we know what is inheritance and how to set up inheritance between two classes uh, before proceeding further let's understand the relationship between constructor and inheritance in c sharp constructors are not inherited by derived classes however when you create an instance of a derived class the constructor of the base class is automatically called before the derived class constructor look at this base class in this class, we have not added any constructor. In that case, c -sharp compiler will add default parameterless constructor to this class. Here we have created instance of fiction book class, which is a derived class. We did not face an issue. Now I will add a parameterized constructor to this base class. If you provide a parameterized constructor in your class, the default constructor will not be automatically generated by the compiler. Look at this fiction book class. As soon as we add constructor in the base class, we get error. Because in this case, compiler is expecting us to call the base class constructor and pass the parameters. Then how to call the base class constructor? We can explicitly call a specific constructor of the base class using the base keyword from the constructor of the derived class. Now I will add a constructor to this class. This constructor will take these parameters title, author, price and genre. Now we have to call the base class constructor. Use colon symbol, then use base keyword and pass the values. Now we have to pass title, author and price. Inside this derived class constructor, we are going to map the genre. Now we can create instance of fiction book like this. We are passing all the values. These three will be passed to the base class constructor and it will be mapped there. Now I now I'll call this display info method. Fiction book dot display info. Let's run this application. This is the output. This is how we can use base class constructor. 
Till now we have seen how to reuse base class functionalities. Now let's understand how to extend base class functionalities. Look at this output. We are calling display info method from book class to display this information. Here we are displaying title, author and price. Look at this line. Here fiction book is an instance of fiction book class which is a derived class. Here this class, here book is a base class and fiction book is a derived class. And this class has display info method which displays title, author and price. And this fiction book class has one more field that is genre. This method is not able to display that information. My requirement is to display title, author and price but also I want to display genre as well. How to achieve this? To extend or modify the functionalities of a base class, then we have to define virtual or abstract method in the base class. Here book is the base class. We have this display info method. I will make this method virtual. To make this method virtual, after this access modifier, use virtual keyword. Now this is virtual method. Virtual methods have a default implementation in the base class but can be overridden in derived classes. Here fiction book is the derived class. Now I will override display info method public. To override the virtual method, use override keyword. Public override wide display info. This will call the display info method from base class. Now I will extend this method by printing extra information. Now let's see the output. See, now we are printing extra information. This is how we can extend the functionalities using virtual methods. Next we have abstract methods. Abstract methods are the methods that must be implemented in all derived classes. And abstract methods will not have implementation. I will add one more property to this base class. I have added description property. Now I will modify this constructor. This will take string description. Now I will add abstract method. Public, we have to use abstract keyword as it is going to be abstract method. Then void, I will say print description. But there is one thing. Abstract method declarations are only permitted in abstract classes. So we have to make this class abstract. Now book is an abstract class. I will modify this base class constructor. Here we are passing description to the base class constructor. Now we are going to override the abstract method. Again public use override keyword. This is going to be print description. print description. This is how we can override the abstract method. Now, okay, here we have to pass one more information that is description. See, here we are passing description as well. Now, we can call another method. Now, I will call this print description method. Let's run this application and see the output. See, this is the output. This is how we can use virtual and abstract methods. Let's discuss different types of inheritance. Simplest form of inheritance is single inheritance. In single inheritance, a single derived class inherits from a single base class. For example, in our example, we have book class. Fiction book class is inheriting from book class. This is single inheritance. Next form of inheritance is multi-level inheritance. In multi-level inheritance, a derived class inherits from a base class. Then the same derived class acts as a base class for another class. Let's understand this with an example. In our case, we have book class and we have created fiction book class and fiction book class is derived from book class. Suppose I create one more class mystery fiction book and I derive it from fiction book class then fiction book class becomes a base class for mystery fiction book which is derived which is deriving from book class this forms multi-level inheritance next is hierarchical inheritance in this case of inheritance multiple derived classes inherit from a single base class 
in our example we have book class which is a base class and fiction book is a derived class if i create one more class non fiction book and derived from book class then this becomes hierarchical inheritance please note multiple inheritance is not supported in c sharp it is achieved through interfaces inheritance offers several advantages like code reusability enhanced modularity code extensibility and ease of maintenance with this we have come to an end of the session i hope the session was useful thanks for your time see you soon in the next video thank you